Hey everybody, Alonzo here with GolfCoastSmoke.com and today we're making smoke shotgun shells. So before I go any further, I gotta say a quick shout out to my buddy Eddie. He gave me this idea, if I'm being honest, months ago. He told me that he'd seen some people doing these smoke shotgun shells and that I needed to hop on the trend and honestly I just never got around to it. Shout out to Eddie, he actually has a lot of great ideas for the channel all the time. I tried doing them but you know, obviously doesn't always work out. Well then yesterday my friend Oscar texted me a TikTok of a guy making some smoke shotgun shells and then today my friend Travis texted me and said brother your next video has to be smoke shotgun shells. So at that point I said you know what let's see what the smoke shotgun shells are all about and of course let's put our own twist on it. So our ingredients today are the manicotta shells, bacon here, 80-20 ground beef, and I've also got some Monterey Jack with jalapenos in there. My wife is gone today. She's actually at Ballet with the kids. So I'm going to do my best for you guys. I also have my Osmo Pocket here just to get some overhead shots if we need them. But basically, I've been seeing a lot of people use breakfast sausage for this recipe. We're going to use ground meat today. And we're actually going to combine the ground beef and the cheese and that's going to be a pretty simple process we're literally just going to get our hands we have gloves on and we're going to combine it as best we can try and get cheese on every single piece well mixed in with every single piece of this ground beef and this is what we're going to stuff these with today and you know hopefully this turns out good like i said i've never done this recipe this is the first time we're trying it out today but after i had enough friends tell me i knew it was time and so this is what it looks like you can see the cheese is pretty evenly distributed and that's exactly what we want now i have some southern bell and i am just going to put some in here with this ground beef to get some nice flavor in there. Typically I don't see anybody season the breakfast sausage. Obviously there's sage and a lot of other spices in most of that breakfast sausage. So I don't think it necessarily needs it, but since we're working with this today, I don't think it's a bad idea to get a nice seasoning in there. And of course, what better than our very own Southern Bell. Okay, so now that we have everything mixed up in here, I literally just wanna start stuffing these shells and I'm just going to grab some of our ground beef and cheese mixture and pretty much just do this and get it stuffed in there as good as I possibly can. And so yeah, you can see here that this is what it looks like stuffed and that is perfect just gonna go ahead and do the rest of these and then we'll be back in just a minute okay so all of the shells are completely stuffed let's go ahead and wrap them with a piece of thin bacon we're going to do two pieces here Then we definitely want to get some flavor on the outside. And that is where Southern Hospitality is going to come in. So let's just hit the bacon with the Hospitality. And this right here is exactly the way I want my shotgun shells to look. Remember we have the Southern Bell in the inside with that ground beef and that Monterey Jack cheese with jalapeno. And then of course we have the Hospitality on the outside. It's time to cook these, then we're gonna try them out. 275 until the bacon looks done. And then it'll finally be time to see what this smoked shotgun shell is all about. Okay, so while those shotgun shells are smoking on the Traeger, we wanted to make up a copycat in and out sauce. I'm not gonna take credit for this recipe. I actually got it from Joshua Weissman on TikTok. So I'll link that TikTok down below in case you guys are interested in looking at that recipe. But basically because we stuffed the shotgun shells 
with burger components, ground beef, Southern Bell, and Monterey Jack jalapeno cheese. We felt that this could have a great burger flavor, so let's have a nice burger sauce to go with it. Smoked shotgun shells are done. They took about an hour and 45 minutes. I cooked them until the bacon was nice and cooked all the way through. One of the things I'm not really sure about is how the actual pasta is gonna taste and how exactly does it get cooked? I was talking to my buddy Eddie and he said maybe the moisture in the meat will actually kind of help steam it along with the bacon wrapped around it. And of course it's all smoked. So we'll see, it's time to take a bite. Cheers. hot so the ground beef and the cheese mixture tastes so good southern bell puts a perfect flavor there and the other thing i love is i can taste that hospitality on the bacon first thing i get is the nice hospitality flavor then bacon and then the bell the meat and the cheese i wasn't too sure what to think but this is a great recipe i definitely recommend you try this out let's go ahead and taste it with that copycat in and out sauce Make sure you get plenty on there. Hot. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Tangy, sweet. The in and out sauce takes it to a completely different level. It's delicious on its own, but you have to try that sauce. Again, shout out to Joshua Weissman on that. That was his recipe. Again, his TikTok will be linked down below. I honestly couldn't ask for anything better. That was amazing. I do need to go back and taste it exactly the way people have been making it with the breakfast sausage and the cheese in between. But for this, for putting our own spin on it, I think it turned out really good. If you guys are interested in a recipe like this, leave a comment down below. Of course, subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. It's completely free. And you get to see content every single week. As always, I really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one.